Alright, welcome back. We're going to talk a little bit about the last part of Topic 8 for the IB physics, which is global warming. And there's a lot that you need to read about this, um, I'm going to just try and hit some highlights uh, in this short little film. And one thing that we are going to start out with is what's called the enhanced greenhouse effect. And before we do that, you're going to have to know something about a term that I'm going to type in here called surface heat capacity. Okay, so there it is. That's the definition of surface heat capacity. And see how that could affect the in-house enhanced greenhouse effect. Let me just show you what could happen. Let's say that we've got this radiation come in from the sun and here is our atmosphere. Here is the earth and normally some is coming in some of the radiation is going out and some is coming in some of it is emitted off here and that's going to hit greenhouse gases and those greenhouse gases are going to re-emit it all over the place. Now what could happen is if we get too many greenhouse gases then they start absorbing more of it and they cause the amount that escapes because all of the stuff that's escaping also adds up in our output. And if this total output goes down and the input remains the same, then there's an equation that's going to govern what's going to happen. And that equation, uh, which is in your IV packet, is delta T is going to equal the input minus the intensity output multiplied by the time and divided by this surface heat capacity. So it depends on what type of land or water that it's over, but if this output goes down due to the increased or enhanced greenhouse effect, then there's going to be a difference here, and that's bad. And then the temperature of the Earth will go up. And we're going to talk about what can happen if that temperature of the Earth does go up. Uh, so, let's get a new page here. So, let's just say that we have let's say that we have a little bit of enhanced greenhouse effect. Maybe that's from CO2 that's put off by all the fossil fuel burning. What that can then cause, as we just learned from that equation, is a slight temperature rise. And what this can cause, um, and we're going to have to take a little break, is this could cause a sea level rise. Now, a lot of people think it's going to melt the polar ice caps and that's going to cause a huge influx of sea level rise, and that's possible, but the reasoning is a little bit different. So let's say we've got the water and we've got all this giant ice that's floating around in the water. If this all melts, and so much of it is submerged, it won't actually cause the sea level to rise that much. Now if instead you have land, and then you've got water here, and the giant ice shelves melt, and this all goes into the water, then that is bad, and that will cause the sea level to go up, up, up. Um, but the main reason that the sea levels could go up with a slight temperature rise is because of, I'm going to type a term in here, all right, and so uh, what we have is the coefficient of volume expansion. And that is for water, as it heats up, a very fractional change in its volume per unit temperature. And so you probably haven't noticed, but because it's so small. But what, when water gets above 4 degrees Celsius, it's a little bit hotter, a little bit hotter, it expands 
ever so much. With with all the giant oceans out there, could cause a significant sea level rise. So let me do a little. So now we know why the sea levels rise. If those sea levels rise, then we're going to have more land covered with water. And the problem is, water is a lower albedo. And if you remember, albedo is how much it reflects. And if you lower the amount reflected, then the Earth is going to absorb more, uh, more energy. And so let's just write that. More energy absorbed. And if we absorb more energy, that's going to cause a slight temperature rise. And then that's going to feed on itself. And what we call this is a positive feedback loop. That's an important term that you may want to remember because it causes all sorts of bad things to potentially happen. Because as the temperature goes up, you could also have uh, CO2 comes out of the ocean because the amount of CO2 depends on how cold it is or hot it is. And hot temperatures, CO2 doesn't dissolve very well. And so if more CO2 comes out, that could lead to the enhanced greenhouse effect. And then it could all start happening again and again and make things worse and worse and worse. Sort of like when there's feedback on a microphone uh, at a rock concert. It just keeps feeding on itself and getting that louder shrieking sound. And so that's one example. There's lots more that you need to read about uh, in the global warming unit uh, in the packet that you were given. So hope that helps some. Study hard. Woo!